Hi everyone, I'm Michaela Ferry. I'm the Director of Academic Operations and Enrollment for the Decker College of Nursing and Health Sciences. We have a team here from the Decker Division of Advising and Academic Excellence, um, and we also have representatives from the Undergraduate Admissions Office. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with our formal presentation. After a quick presentation outlining the program options that we have for you, we're going to switch into smaller groups divided by cohort. So our first year applicants will separate from our traditional transfer applicants and our baccalaureate accelerated track applicants as well. So I'll go ahead and share our presentation. And as we go, you're welcome to put questions into the question and answer box at the bottom of your screen. Uh, but just remember, we will break out into smaller groups where you'll have an opportunity to ask questions to students from the traditional and baccalaureate accelerated track program. Um, and you'll also have access to an admissions counselor and a Decker academic advisor within the smaller groups. Um, so it might be better suited for those smaller rooms, but if at any point you feel like you wanna put a question into the question and answer box at the bottom of your Zoom screen, that's fine too. I'll start by getting, I'll start by telling you a little bit about the Decker College of Nursing and Health Sciences. The Decker School of Nursing is one of three schools within Decker College. Um, right now, we are currently located on the main campus uh, in Bestel, New York, uh, but we are moving to the Johnson City Health Sciences campus at 48 Corliss Avenue in just a couple of months. We'll be ready to start classes there in 2021, so we're really excited about that move. It's a brand new, um, we have a brand new addition to a recently restored building. We'll have um, room for uh, study space, um, academic advising offices, li a library, a food court, and what we're really excited about is an entire floor dedicated to the Innovative Simulation and Practice Center. Uh, innovative or Simulation is a huge uh, portion of our undergraduate education, and we're excited to expand that from our current space to an entire floor at our new building at 48 Corliss. There will be transportation to and from the new building to our main campus and students at the freshman and sophomore level will continue to take classes on the main campus while students in the junior and senior year as well as the baccalaureate accelerated track the bat program will take courses at the new building. We're excited that you're all here and you've chosen a great profession in nursing. Uh, there are lots of benefits I'm sure you've explored as you've started uh, your search to find the perfect career fit for you. Uh, you might have already thought of a couple of these, but obviously nursing is a rewarding and meaningful job. You're doing something that's giving back a lot to your community. Um, and there's a lot of room for personal growth, obviously. Um, there are visible results in the patients that you serve. You're active on the job, you're on your feet, you're moving all of the time. It's a high demand job with room to grow and a competitive salary, and it's an evolving field. It's constantly changing, and there are so many different work environments that you can uh, start your career and then continue in your career in. You might think of a nurse as a traditional bedside nurse at a hospital or a nursing home uh, facility, but there are so many other facilities and environments that you can take your career in as a nurse. You might work in a primary care facility, you might work in a school, um, you might work in home care, on a military base, you might focus your career in, in research. Um, there are so many different options. Uh, you get to explore so many of those options in our program with clinical rotations um, in a lot of different environments and a lot of different healthcare systems. So one of the things that we pride ourselves on is that students have an opportunity to expose themselves to many different environments and get a feel for what is the right fit for them. Our undergraduate nursing program has a few different options for application and admission. We have our traditional first year program where students apply directly into the nursing program. Students who are admitted from the high school level uh, begin as Decker freshmen and complete the program in four years. Students can also apply for a seat in our sophomore or junior class in the traditional program as traditional transfers or as intra-university transfers. Intra-university transfers are students that start in one of the other colleges at Binghamton University and then desire to transfer into Decker College. We also have the baccalaureate accelerated track. I know we have students here today that are getting ready to or have already applied for the baccalaureate accelerated track, the BAT program for 2021. Um, that's a program that's completed in one year. Students have to have a previous bachelor's degree and all prerequisites complete. 
and I'll switch over to this slide that has a lot of information, um, but it basically explains the different uh, avenues to becoming a nurse here in the Decker School of Nursing. So as I mentioned, traditional first year students come directly from high school. Traditional transfers come from another accredited college or university. Uh, they typically have one to two years of college experience, or they could have a bachelor's degree and want to complete the program at a non accelerated pace. Students in the baccalaureate accelerated track already have a bachelor's degree in a field other than nursing and want to study at an accelerated pace. The traditional program is four years. Typically, we do have an option for students that come in with like a year or two of coursework complete from their high school level to accelerate and complete um, from, I'm sorry, from high school that earned them college credit that can complete the, the program in three years. So that is an option for students that come in with the correct prerequisite sequence completed. Um, traditional transfers complete the program in two years if they're admitted to the junior class or three years if admitted to the sophomore class. We admit for fall semesters only for the traditional first year and traditional transfer program. The baccalaureate accelerated track, as I mentioned, is one year. It runs May to May of every year and students do have to have a previous bachelor's degree and all prerequisites completed to start that program. They do run for 12 months in, in its entirety uh, without the traditional college breaks like students in the traditional first year and traditional transfer program. All, both of our programs, the traditional program and the baccalaureate accelerated track program, have 50 credits of core nursing coursework and a two credit nursing elective. The courses um, include over 700 hours of clinical experience and students do get to care for patients of all ages in acute care, community health, home care, and long-term care facilities. Um, the final transition is the capstone clinical in nursing 471, which allows students a little bit more autonomy in a clinical setting and students do have the opportunity to request a site for that location and they work with the clinical coordinator or the course coordinator to select a location that meets their needs and uh, preferences. Um, I mentioned a two credit nursing elective is required for all of our students. This gives students an opportunity to explore specialized practice areas or other, um, other areas of academics that would uh, supplement a nursing education. For example, our students complete that in something like nutrition, genetics, um, women's wellness, and, and other courses uh, amongst various subject areas here at Binghamton. Students in both of our programs continue to pass uh, the NCLEX RN at above the New York State and national average. Um, our latest 2020 uh, NCLEX pass rate is right around a 92% with students scoring uh, equally as well in the baccalaureate accelerated track program as they do in the traditional program. The traditional curriculum which students complete uh, is 126 credits. It has four components. It's the prerequisite. The first component is the prerequisite courses. Prerequisites are two compositions, statistics, chemistry one, chemistry two, intro bio, anatomy and physiology one, anatomy and physiology two, microbio, intro psych, and developmental psych. These are courses that you prioritize in the first two years while you're also taking the general education courses. That's the second component of the degree. The 52 credits of core courses is the third component of the degree, and electives are that final component. There's no set number of electives that you have to complete, but all students do have to complete 126 credits to complete the degree. Freshmen and sophomores are typically taking prerequisites in general education courses, while juniors and seniors are taking core courses. The BAT curriculum is also 126 credits, but all of the students transfer in 74 credits of prerequisites and electives. The prerequisites are exactly the same for the BAT curriculum as they are for the traditional curriculum. And all of the gen eds are waived because these students all have a bachelor's degree in a field other than nursing. There are 52 credits of core courses, 50 credits plus the two credit nursing elective. The coursework is the exact same in the baccalaureate accelerated track program as it is in the traditional program. The program is divided into 16 credits in the summer, 18 credits in the fall, four credits in the winter, and 12 to 14 credits in the spring. Students that have to complete the nursing elective do complete 14, while students that transfer in a nursing elective complete 12. There are additional options for all of our students at the undergraduate level. A lot of our students take advantage of research opportunities with Decker faculty. Um, students in our traditional program do have the option of completing a minor or a double degree. Many of our students do choose to complete one or the other or both. 
Students in the traditional program also have the opportunity for education abroad experiences. Students that choose to study abroad for an entire semester do so in their freshman or sophomore year, and many of our senior, junior and senior students do so in the summer or winter session. There are funding opportunities for both students in our traditional and baccalaureate accelerated track programs through not only Decker College, but Binghamton University in general. So all of our continuing students are considered for scholarships and do have the opportunity to apply for additional funding opportunities as well. Of course, we have graduate programs here at Decker College as well. We have programs at the master's and doctoral level. We encourage all of our students to start thinking about these opportunities early on and discuss these with their academic advisor or their faculty advisor um, to see if there's any additional prerequisites they should be taking or what type of experience the programs need. Uh, depending on what type of specialty you're interested in, we can talk to you about whether that program is available here at Binghamton. Um, we think graduate education is a great opportunity for students who are looking for autonomy as a nurse, a nurse practitioner, or if you're interested in going into something like nurse, nursing education or nursing administration or research. <laughs>